Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to another video here on Rocket Station. You're with me, Michael. And today, what we're gonna be doing is, again, something totally different. Um, I, I'm trying to mix up my videos just a little bit rather than doing just the standard pack openings. Um, I am starting an eBay Finds series. So what I've been doing is I've been browsing eBay um, looking for some awesome deals. Um, so what I did was I actually found this awesome looking, uh, I think it was called like a Japanese mystery cube. You get about 200 cards in there, um, which include promos, reverses, hollows, EXs, GXs, full art, all that sort of thing. It does guarantee you about at least 18 hollows, including EXs as well. Um, so we'll be opening that today. Um, so I hope everybody's enjoyed my videos so far. I just want to take this opportunity just to say thank you for all the support so far. Yes, we have only got 16 subscribers so far, but to be honest, that's 16 subscribers more than what I had last month. So for all those people who have liked and commented and viewed my videos, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you. This is obviously what I want to be doing, um, hopefully for a living. Um, I do enjoy doing this. It, it's a hobby of mine. Um, and I just want to keep on creating more videos for you guys and for myself as well because that's what I enjoy doing. So again, massive thank you. So without further ado guys, let's go on to this awesome opening here. So, like we said just in the intro there, this is the Japanese Mystery Cube that we got from eBay. So this is part of the eBay finds sort of series that I want to start doing. Um, I did find this on eBay and I think it was for about £20. Um, so what it consists of, I think it said it was about 200 cards, can include EXs and promos in there as well. Um, but like I said, it is a mystery, so we don't know exactly what we're going to get in this. It's just a surprise. So without further ado, um, what I'll do is actually just to begin with, I'll just show you each card that's on the side there. So I think they tend to put some of the shiny cards just on the outside, obviously just to, to show off exactly what you're getting in the pack there. Um, but I don't know what's going to be on the inside. You might be able to see that some of the cards seem a little bit banged up as well. Um, but for £20, I'm not really going to complain because we could have some awesome pulls in here. So what I'm going to do is just going to open the top here. With extreme difficulty. <laughs> so hopefully we'll pull some awesome, like, awesome cards. And um, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pull out the packaging because cards are flying everywhere. Um, I'm just gonna pull out the side cards and then what I'll do is we'll actually just go through the actual bundle, but I'm not gonna like grab the whole entire pack. I'm gonna like split it into like three sections. So I'll put the bundle there. And um, so just to give you another look, obviously I, I, I know that I've just showed you in the packaging, but just to give you another look there, we have an Excadrill uh, Excadr EX, so I believe, if you can see there, it says EBB, and I think that's part of the EX Battle Boost pack, which is part of Legendary Treasures, and I think this is like a brand new a brand new um, card that was released, I think it was the last expansion, so that's an awesome, awesome card there. Um, bear with us, because obviously all of these cards are in Japanese, so I don't know exactly all the names, um, but I believe this is Professor Juniper. Um, and as you can see, it is a promo card. I'm not too sure exactly which one it is. It's a Black Star promo, but I'm not too sure, obviously, what type of promo it is. Um, if you do, if I, if I can't remember, if I don't know any of the word, any of the names of the cards, sorry, just let me know down in the comments below exactly what, if you know exactly what it is and if it is a rare card or not, because I'm not going to know for quite a lot of them. Um, here we have a Hollow Dark Rye, which is probably out of the four that we've seen on the side, probably one of my favourites. Um, I did do some research on this one. Again, it's a Black Star promo, but I think this was released during the 10th, 10th anniversary movie. Um, so again, awesome card there. And then finally, we have just a regular rare Tentacruel, Tentacruel but I believe the X and Y5 means that it's like a first, first edition. Um, so that's an awesome, awesome looking card there. Right, so like I mentioned, what we're gonna do is we are gonna, out of this pack here, out of this little bundle that we got, I'm just going to split it into three sections. I don't know. I haven't shuffled it, so I don't know exactly what we're going to get. All right. Um, so let's just continue. So we have a Need Arena. We have a Vaporeon from, I think it's Plasma Plasma Freeze. A Beedrill. 
a Nidoran, a Chinchu, I think that's what they're called, a B Sharp from Plasma Freeze. So I haven't got that one yet. Oh, right, okay, so we have the first hollow of this of this mystery cube. So we have a hollow Manafi there. Um, let's see what kind of, what what's in there? So it says 10th, so I'm guessing this is the 10th, a 10th movie, something like that. It has got like a film reel on the side there and 10th saying there, so I think it's from a 10th movie or something like that. So that's an awesome, awesome pull there. I'll put that with the, the hollow pack that we've got. We have a B drill again, a Weedle, a Nidorino, uh, I think that's a Floretta, I think, something like that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, sorry, I think this one's the Roselia, and I think that one's the Floretta. Let me know down in the comments below, I'm sure you will if I do get these wrong. Um, we have a Vanillux from Plasma Freeze, a Garbodor, awesome card. I think right now, competitive-wise, I think Garbodor is actually doing really well. I don't think it's this card, but like I said, that, this Pokemon's doing really well at the minute. But I think that's from the Black and White series. Yep, Black and White 2 series. We have a Camerupt. A Gas... I think it's a Gastodon. And I think that's a... It's a Gym Leader card. Or... GL. Yeah, Gym Leader card. Oh, and that's actually what I didn't realise. Was that was a Hollow as well. So that can go along with our... Hollow pile there. We have a Hound... Uh, Hound Doom? No, not Hound Doom. Oh, what's it called? I am literally going to get ripped for this one. Uh, Hound Doer. <laughs> uh, a Mobile. A Dratini. A Kakuna. An Eevee. A Nidorino. A Magmortar. Some sort of Spanner Trainer card. A Cascoon. A Starly. Gloom. Ah, uh, I know that the pre-evolution is called Del Kitty. I'm not too sure. <laughs> we have a Zoroa. Oh, there we go. Another Hollow, and I think again this is the. I think it's a Roselia. No, 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 no. The one before that's a Roselia, isn't it? I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, this is a hollow card there, so that again can go with our hollow pile. Apparently in this cube we are expected to find at least 18 hollows, including EXs and ultra rares. So we have a Fletchling, an Oshawott, but what's that little mark there? What? It's got like a little silhouette and it's on the next card there as well. So wonder what that actually means. We have a Voltorb, uh, is it an S, an S, Mesprit or Esprit? Um, not too sure. Krogunk. Whisper. Windsor or something. A Squirtle. An awesome looking card there. Awesome. I might keep that one to the side actually because I like that. I like the uh, the original starters. A Loudred. Uh, not too sure. <laughs> A Sand Slash. Not too sure. Not, oh, there's a hollow card there, and it, but again, I'm not too sure what this one's called. <laughs> you will have to let me know down in the comments below. Um, but this is from the Diamond and Pearl series, so there's a nice little hollow there. Um, oh, not too sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna start peeling the cards away. I mean, I'll only say the ones that I know. So that's a Rotom from Plasma Freeze. So we have a coughing there. Scyther, which is an awesome looking card. I'm definitely going to keep that one to the side. Why have I never seen that one before? <laughs> an Incarda. Wigglytuff. Oh, that's a nice card. So we've got a Hollow Raichu there. Um, I'm not too sure what that symbol is there. You guys will know which expansion that's from. Um, that's an awesome looking card there. We have a Beware. We have Knockdown, and we have oh, Pig Knight. Oh my god, that looks awesome. Look at this Dratini. I mean, uh, Dragonair. Duh! <laughs> Dragonair, what awesome artwork on that one. I've never seen this card before, and that's from the Black and White series. Don't know what that C is there, but I'm sure, sure I'll do some research afterwards and see exactly what we've got. 
So that's definitely going to one side there. And then we have a Tropius. So we pull quite a few hollows out of that first little, little sort of almost pile out of those cards there. So on to the next pile. Literally, I'm just taking it from the top and we're just going to start across there. Did see a few shinies at the back there, so hopefully this pile is going to be awesome. We have an Among Us, a Pansier, and I know this one's called a Hypnotoxic Laser from Plasma Freeze. Not too sure. Togetic. Oh, right, okay, so we, we got this actually in the Spiral Force, which I haven't actually uploaded yet, but we've definitely got one of these ones already, and that's a hollow um, cough. Coffee, coffee, I guess, something like that. So we'll definitely pop that one to the side from Plasma Freeze. An Among Us from Plasma Freeze. So we're getting quite a lot of Plasma Freeze cards, so that's definitely a good thing because I know that the packs can be quite expensive. We have a Marrel there. Oh, right, okay, so another Hollow. So we have a Hollow Ampharos here. Awesome looking card, and that is from, it says, what does that say, P, PT1? I'm not too, too sure what expansion that one's from and whether or not it's a sort of promo card. No, it's just a rare, but that looks awesome there, so that again can join our little pile. Tepig, we have a Mankey, Mr. Mine. So the, the quality of these cards seem to be all right. I think uh, there was a couple of ones banged up. Yep, so we've got we've got to the banged up cards, as you can see, just on the side there. It's a little bit bent, but I think that's just the packaging that it's been in. <clears throat> right, so on to our next hollow there. Uh, Electivire there. So that's an awesome looking card again. I do like the Japanese hollows, obviously, with the horizontal shininess to them so that's an awesome looking card again so we are getting quite a lot of hollows in this in this mystery cube we haven't really hit any other axes which is quite disappointing but we have still got quite a lot left and um, so i am feeling a bit optimistic here we have a weevil growlith litwit pikachu oh so i'm definitely going to keep this pikachu card because i do like pikachu as a pokemon and i do want to obviously collect all the different versions of the card. We have an Ekans, Stantler, uh, Cryo something, I, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Bronzong. Oh, and we have another Hollow Manafi there, but I do believe we just, we did pull one. So I'll just show you the other one that we pulled. So this is two different, two different Hollow cards. We've got two different Hollow Manafi. The first one was from the 10th anniversary movie, and this one's from black and white there. So, awesome, awesome pull there. We have a Jigglypuff. Not too sure that one is. <laughs> Pan Sage. Skunk, I think it was called. And a Molga. Wow, that looks awesome. That Molga looks like a, an absolute boss. <laughs> so, we have... Drift, drift bloom. Ooh, right, okay, so a hollow manectric there. And that, again, is it says PT1, so I'm gonna have, have, obviously have a look at see, see what that, see what that means. That's an awesome looking card there. We have a Natu, or is it a Zatu? I'm not too sure. <laughs> we have a Wormpull. Oops, pulled too many cards there. And we have an Ancient Trade Tentacool, Tentacool, Tentacool. <laughs> so that's our first first Japanese ancient trait we've ever had. Torchic, Voltor, Lulipop, Vulpix, Snowrun. Oh, oh my God! No, guys, seriously, how the hell? Oh my God, I didn't even realize. Oh my God! Oh my God! Like, we actually just pulled a Japanese Lycanroc GX. Oh my god, how amazing is that? I'm so happy with that one. Wow. Like, I honestly didn't even expect to pull, like, any of the... I, th I think this is from... Is this from Sun and Moon? Or is this from Guardians Rising? I'm not too sure. Let me know down in the comments below, but that was an awesome, awesome pull there. 
Oh my god, so happy with that. To be honest, that just makes the whole pack like a lot like this cube very, very worth it. That's an awesome card. I'm just going to sleeve that one up there because that is just an awesome, awesome pull. So definitely got that one sleeved up there. Next we have, I think this is a Team Magma, Team Magma looking card there. Um, don't know exactly what's going on in that artwork. I think it's like, they've took all these little errands of took something out. <laughs> we have a Woobat, a Trico, and a Dratini, and finally a Voltorb. So that ends it for that second little pile there. And um, what we're gonna do, we are gonna split that again in a, another pile. So we have a Larvesta, an Altaria, a Tepig. Hopefully we pull another EX because that was awesome, that one. Um, we have a Minion. <laughs> we have a Reverse Wigglytuff. We have a Zoro. Not too sure that one is there. Krogunk. And then we have loads of little, little Gibbles there. Napping in a cave. It's awesome, awesome looking card. Mesprit. Nidoran female. Gligar. Machop. Oh, okay, so we have a hollow. Oh, what's this, Politoed? I think that's what it's called. That's an awesome looking card there. Love that one, so that's from the Diamond and Pearl series. We have a macho, looking absolutely boss there, tense in its muscles. <laughs> oh, okay, so we have a uh, Machamp straight after the macho. I honestly thought it was a hollow there for a second, oh my god. So that was a promo card as well, so I'm going to pop that one to the side. I probably missed out a couple of promo cards, actually. Um, but there we go, we've got a Hitmonchan, a Makahita, another one. <laughs> uh, we have a Tropius. Another one, um, and then we have a hollow Piplup, so that's an awesome looking card as well there. Lovely. <laughs> we have a Macho, a Rhydon, Snubble, Hitmonchan again, sorry about that, I did have to cut out there because the camera went off, so we've got another Makahita, a it's not a Del Fox, I'm not too sure. <laughs> um, Axew. And we have an awesome looking card there. Plasma Freeze. Whoops. Trico. And a Hollow Togekiss. So that again can go with our Hollow Pile. I will recap all of the Hollows and all the EXs and GXs that we got earlier on at the end of the video. Uh, there we go. And fine. Oh. Finally, we have a trainer card there, not too sure. I know that's a gym leader of some sort, but I can't remember her name. So we are on to our final little pile here. So hopefully this pile treats us really well. We have a Swallow, another Manafi, and we have a, is it a V-Shop? <laughs> there we go. Oh, so we have a Lucario. Not too sure what these, what the little silhouettes are of like the Tepig and the Piplup, but it says like a number 26 on there. So I'm definitely gonna set that one to the side because I'm not too sure the quality of that one. So we have a Miltank, uh, Apon, Oddish, Sunken, Porygon. Oh, so we have a Hollow. Whoa, what, is that a Hollow or is that a Reverse? I'm not too sure. The artwork on that one's amazing. So that one's a God of War. And that one says SC. SC with a love heart. So that must be some sort of promo there. So I'm definitely going to set that one to the side. Wigglytuff there. Jigglypuff. Getting all the pink cards in this one. We have a team. Oh, what's it called? Team Aqua? Is that what it's called? There we go. Another Team Magma card. And another Team Magma card. Sandile. 
Malamar, Mowile, a Hollow Sceptile. We've already got that one. We got that one in the Plasma Freeze, I think it is. Yep, got that in the Plasma Freeze. We have a Nidoran, a Weedle, a Makahita, a Vanillite, a Nidorino, War Turtle. Awesome looking card there. A Bronzong, Plasma Freeze, Leafeon, Dratini, Voltorb, Plasma Freeze, Relincanth, I think that's what it is. A Hollow. Ooh, what one's this one again? I can't remember the, the name of this one. We've got that one there as well. And then finally, we end up with. Tortuga, Tur Tortuga, something like that, yeah. So we didn't end off with like an amazing, amazing, amazing card. Uh, but to be honest, all in all, I'm really happy with, with what we've actually pulled out of out of this, this mystery cube. Um, so what I'll do is now is I'm just gonna sleeve them all up and then we'll go through every single hollow that we got in this mystery cube. So I'm just gonna briefly go through all of the hollows and the EXs and GXs that we pulled from this mystery cube. Um, so I'm just going to go through them. I'm only going to talk about the ones that are that seem to be more rarer than others. Um, so yeah, we've got the Sceptile there. Um, so the first one here, um, as you can see there, this is the Guard of War card here, Hollow Foil. It's actually the first edition from the Shiny collection, which was actually primarily aimed at girls. Um, you did get um, four cards per pack, and there was only 20 cards in this booster, booster sort of season. Um, and there was five secret rare cards, but this is the Guard of War there, um, which actually was released in Japan first before the English version Radiant Collection. So that's an awesome little card there. We've got the Togekiss, we've got the Piplop, uh, the Politoed, Manetric. So this one, the Manafi here, um, I did do some research on it, and this is actually the Prince of the Sea Manafi card. Um, and this was released as part of the 10th movie commemoration set, which I think was about eight or 10, 10 cards of that set. Um, so again, an awesome pull there. And then we've got obviously the second Manafi, and Electivire, and Ampharos. And then we have the Raichu there. So this one's the Bastiodon. And this is the Gym Leader card, and it's part of the Japanese first edition from the Bonds of the End of Time booster. So that's an awesome card there. And then obviously we've got we're on to the the last few cards here, and this is the Professor Juniper, um, and this is the card that was only available at the 2011 Gym Challenge tournament in Japan. So they don't actually make this card anymore. It's part of like a limited set. So very very happy about this one this is the um well i can't really tell i think this is the hollow yeah this seems to be the hollow foil version it does it does shine on the photo so it must be the hollow foil version uh, but although the background is shining as well so i'm not too sure if that was the reverse or not uh, but yeah an awesome so i do apologize i don't have to change change cameras here and um, so this last part is obviously going to be from a different angle so like i said earlier this is the excadrill ex card here um, the EBB in the corner there stands for the EX Battle Booster set um, and this was the last set of the, uh, I think it was the black and white um, set there. So that's an awesome card. And then finally, our awesome Japanese Lycan Rock GX pull there. This is the best pull of the Mystery Cube. Um, I did do some research on this one um, and this is actually part of the Rock Rough Full Power theme deck. Um, so again, an awesome, awesome pull love the, the artwork on that one there so that is it for all of this mystery cube that we got from ebay so it's, again it's part of the ebay finds collection that i'm wanting um, ebay finds series that i'm wanting to do um if you have enjoyed this video um let me know down in the comments below because I, like i said i do want to start doing more of the ebay finds series um i have got some more cards coming in the post from ebay and um, these were singles that i bought so i will do a video on that as well um, and also i'm going to be producing a video that will be some cards that one of my really good friends actually donated to me for the channel so i will do some more videos on that as well and um, if you have enjoyed the video remember to hit that like button 
and like I said, comment below on your on what your thoughts are and any awesome cards that you've pulled out of any mystery teams that you might might have bought before. Um, and also hit that subscribe button as well if you have enjoyed this video and you do like to see more future content from me. I am gonna I am trying to do daily content, but there will be some days where I might miss it purely because I haven't got enough time in the day to make videos, but I will try my hardest to create as much content as possible. So Without further ado guys, if you have enjoyed this video, remember to do all that stuff like I mentioned earlier and have a great day.